Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have three new concepts to share with you all today. I hope you're having a freaking fantastic day. Now a couple of these are gonna be more budget models. This one right here, I can tell which one it is. This one is gonna be a more budget model. So all of you folks that are like, okay, listen, bees, you've been showing us a lot of fancy Mr. Fancy Pants stuff, but where's the budget knives? Hey, I get it, I know, I'm all about it. I'm all about the budget knives and this, is a concept knife, which means you're getting a good knife, but it's a little more affordable and wait until you see. <laughs> I'm gonna get right into this one since we already have this one out and then we'll check out the other two here in just a second. But let me know in the comments, are you having a fantastic day? And by the way, every Friday night, Bees Blades live at the Hive. That's where you come. We have a four hour live stream where we give away knives just like this. That's not the reason for the live stream, but it is the fun place to be on Friday nights. We do all the giveaways on top of the piece pizza checks and all the knives and everyday carry gear. But anyway, let's get to this bad boy. This is the concept egress. Would you look at that? I mean, just look at that. It already looks mean. I mean, it looks mean. And look at this. Oh, let's see if I can get in here at all to check out that texture. This is the texture G10 is supposed to have, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It is, oh, it is so grabby. Oh, I open the blade. <laughs> Maybe I'll get into that here in just a second. That gives you an indication of how grippy that G10 is. And look at this, the accents. Ooh, oh yeah, I'm digging that. Look at these accents. What, what is that, bronze? I guess you would call that bronze color but it really goes well with this blacked out everything, stonewash blade, and let's see, it's not a reversible clip, wah wah, and it, it is a deep carry clip, however, it does have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade. I would prefer that those be flat screws, but look at this, really nice look at G10 backspacer, and they don't have a hole, in the, uh, in the, what do you call that? <laughs> in the scales, take it away from the aesthetics. We do have a lanyard pin back here. So all you lanyard lovers, you're gonna be able to put a lanyard on this bad boy. Now, are you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, check that out. Now, if you like a warn cliff, that's a warning. I mean, are you feeling a little warning right now? Look at that, that is, oh yeah, that's a good looking, good looking blade. There's at least six different configurations of the egress. There's like, there's different G10 colors, different, um, I can't remember if they're all black stone washed or not, but I know there's the, all the G10 models are black stone washed. And this, let's see if we can get up here and see, where does it say? Well, right there, it says egress. And then on this side, does it say, yes, there it goes. 14C, 28 in, blade steel, baby. And here's a look at your plunge grind. Ends right there, just a little bit higher than the heel. And wow, this is gorgeous. Now let's see how our fit is. Um, left and right, nothing. Up and down, I actually am getting a slight bit of movement. So one being a tad and 10 being completely loose, I, it's a one out of 10. So up and down, which is not something I come across a whole lot, I'm getting a, and now, yeah. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a tad bit of movement up and down. It's, uh, I don't know that that's a bad thing. Here's a look at your lockup. The lockup is good, it's about 50%. And then here's a look at, let's see if we can get you in there with the light so you can see that we are centered. And, whoo, boy, that feels pretty good. Now, I noticed when I was shaking it earlier, can I? Yes, I can whip it good, I can whip it out. So uh, that may be something you like, maybe something you're not, but there's enough grip when you're holding onto the pocket clip, you can actually whip it out. <laughs> that, could, that could be a good thing. Now let, let's just give it just normal. Yeah, it, it, the detent is doing its job. I'm giving it a lot of force to get it to do that. And let's see, can I open this with my thumb? Yes, so a lot of thumb holes, you can't even actually get your thumb in there to get, to get in there, to get in it, to win it, to open it. This one is easy to use your thumb. And the reverse flick, some folks ask me, how do you reverse flick? You just imagine you're going like this, just like that. You're not using the rest of your hand to do much at all. It's just resting in your hand, just like this. And I'm just flicking my middle finger out, just like this. See there? It doesn't have the strongest detent because, see that right there? I should, you have to use a little bit more force traditionally with what I would call a, a really snappy detent. But, oh yeah, it, I mean, it works very well. And yeah, so you can open it like that. Now, the reverse grip, 
Your verse grip's very comfortable. You can really get into something, open some packages like that. And you know, before I forget, let's get up here and I'll tell you a couple numbers. This bad boy from tip to tip is 8.24 inches long, which is 209 millimeters, and it's 3.47 inches for your blade length. So you're right there at the three and a half inch blade length. And that is a very, very beautiful blade. Here's a couple uh, size comparisons for you. Now this is the Egress. This is the Concept Nest Street. This is one of my favorite designs for them just for an overall good priced, good working knife. Look at this. It's If you have one of these and you're a Concept fan, then this, this automatically tells you, okay, now I see what we're stepping in. Now here is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. And then here, right here, is the QSP Penguin, because everybody should have a Penguin, right? A lot bigger than the Penguin. I mean, you know, all things considered, not a lot bigger, but you have more handle, you have more blade, and you see, one of the reasons I like the, the Penguin is because it has that flat bottom, and it has just enough pokiness. If you want a little more pokiness, then you can get in with this bad boy. Kind of looks like the uh, Cybertruck just a little bit. I like the looks of that design. Now, this is one of the one knives that comes to mind when I see the concept egress is this one right here. There's the Spyderco Yojimbo. So for comparison, lengthwise, it looks like you have about the same amount. Well, you have a little more handle because the with you can choke up with the Yojimbo all the way up here and use this. Whereas with this one, you can also use this front area. It's just not quite as long having these pivot to pivot as, as uh, each other. Now let's see here. Um, it looks like Oh yeah, look at that. The Egress has more cutting length, considerably more cutting length than the Yojimbo. So you get a lot more, You see you sacrifice a little bit of forward choil, if you will, or landing pad for extra cutting blade. And then height wise, I think the they're not that much. Oh yeah, look at that. So height wise, height wise, you get more blade than the Yojimbo. And this is gonna cost you a lot less. These, um, I have a 10% off code, by the way, to Concept Knives. It'll, run, it'll knock this down to like 53 bucks, which I think is a fantastic price. Let me back out here. But yeah, that's such a good price. 53 doll hairs for this much knife. And let's see, ergo wise, you know the size of my hands, four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle, 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 middle finger is seven and a quarter. Giving it the B squeeze, uh, it's comfortable. I'm not getting any hotty spotties. Yeah, this is this would be a nice user. Oh, whoo, yes. This is, this is my kind of knife. This is my kind of blade. It has a tall enough, slicey enough, uh, let's see, how does it feel? It doesn't feel too thick behind the edge, but you do have to remember that whatever your spine thickness is, it goes down, it starts right here at the start of the primary bevel. Um, so they do, they do a very good job of having it coming out e equally, evenly, as quickly as possible, but it's not going to be the sliciest knife in the world, but it, it's going to, it's going to do a pretty good job of getting through cardboard or whatever you're getting through. Now, here's a look at your jimping. Something I, th I found a little different is you have jimping up here and then you have jimping out here. So if you're holding it in this fashion, just like this with your finger up there on that little bit of real estate, the jimping that's there is surprisingly efficient. It has that little bit of micro jimping going on. It, and if you're holding it like this, it, it does its job. It's perfect. The jimping is perfect. And then if you're holding it back here like this, this is the only thing that I thought was a little different is this jimping right here, that's gotta be more for if you're using it for the front flip. Did I mention that this is also a front flipper? It works great for the front flipper, it just doesn't serve a purpose for holding your thumb. I, w I think it would have been really cool had they just done the whole top and jimping. Maybe people wouldn't have liked that, but I feel like if the entire thing would have been jimping, then it wouldn't have mattered where you had your hand or where you hold your hand when you hold the knife. It would have been really extra great. <laughs> it would have been super duper for the grippage. So when you're holding it like this, you don't really have any jimping back here unless you have your thumb out here. And when your thumb's out here, you're locked in, you're good to go. Now, a little bit of, a little bit of deployment since I didn't show you that there's your reverse flick that works great i already showed you the thumb flick works great but i did not show you that yes that, that works superb that works really really well that front flip has a great it has, has such that jimping does such a good job without being aggressive and it doesn't hurt your thumb it just rolls right around with your thumb so if you like front flippers or you like a thumb hole you like to do the slow roll this is gonna be a good one. Oh man, oh, I almost forgot. I have two other ones to show you real quick. Let's go get them. <laughs>
Okay, are you ready for this? This is the Concept Mini Corvid, the Concept Knives Mini Corvid. One of, uh, there's 45 different configurations of the Mini Corvid. This is two of their newest configurations of the Concept Mini Corvid. And you could get this in this, this size, and then a bigger, and then a bigger, and then a giant Corvid. I have all the sizes, they are all fantastic knives. But these are the newest of the little minis. And they're such a good little knife. And who is gonna be scared if you get this out at the lunchroom, and you're taking a lunch break, and you're gonna open up your tactical bag of cheetos but I think these are very, very cool. These are only 3.78 inches long. It has a one and a half inch blade and it only weighs around 1.4 ounces. And then this black stone washed, this one right here, obviously, let me get you a little look here. There's a look at that Damascus, very nice Damascus. And from, from everything I've heard in my experience with the Damascus for concept knives, they're always very nice. Now this is JG10 with uh, what is this called? Watermelon peel print. So how, however that is put on there, I don't know, but it does look very cool. And by the way, this uh, G10, it feels very good. It has good texture. I don't know if I'm able to get in there and actually show you the texture or not, but it has very, I'm trying to hold still. <laughs> It has a very good texture to it. So it's not a big knife. It's just a little package opener, little cutter, little, you know, look, your hand, your finger, it has a little landing pad right here where your thumb or your, that's your thumb, that's your index finger, or is it vice versa? That's where you, you can do some little bit of cutting. But this bad boy, it has 154 CM blade steel. And now you can see what kind of texture we're working with. Yeah, look at that. Really nice texture. It's it's just a mini cleaver. And you know what? I just grabbed it just for fun because, oh, wait a minute. Let me show you this one. Here is another example. This is one of the more premium ones. This one is titanium with dimples. <laughs> it has dimples. When I say there's 45 different versions or configurations of the mini Corvette, I'm not kidding at all. This one is a liner lock. This one is a liner lock. And then this one is the Mr. Fancy Pants version. And this one is a frame lock. This is just, this is the one that I've had. It's just another example. But you know what? For fun, I'm, all, I'm gonna leave this up to your imagination. This is the Corvette XL. And this is the Mini Corvette. <laughs> I will leave it up to your imagination. I have the ones that are in the middle, but I'm just going to show you these. And if you're interested, you can always go see the specs for the other sizes if you're interested in those. But yeah, so there's two other two other sizes in between this one and this one. So if you want one like the size of the sheepdog or something to that effect, you can go check those out. You can always look at the specs on, I'll send you to the sites. You can go check, check out the links. It'll take you there. You can get all the numbers that you want. But this one would blow your your mind. I'm kid you not. You can carry this in your pocket, even though it's this gigantic and it, it just fits in your pocket. You don't realize you have it. And it is incredible. Um, here I am showing you a knife that's not even about in this video, but look at this. Look at this. You talk about geometry. This thing is an absolute slicing machine. It's not super heavy and it's fun to look at. It's fun to use and it disappears in your pocket somehow just because it's a, it's flat. It's not real thick, but anyway, back to these bad boys. These are the two new versions of the Concept Mini Corvid. Or wait a minute, these are the two new versions, but I'll leave this little guy out here. And this is the new, or the, yeah, the newest version of the Concept Egress. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I really like Concept Knives. I, they're just made well, they do a great job. I don't have anything to complain about. Um, 50 something bucks, 53 bucks for this bad boy. Uh, that's after using my 10% discount code. I mean, you can't beat it. Let me know what you think about these knives. Do you have any one of the Corvids, one of the sizes of the Corvids? I'm curious. There's probably over a hundred different variants of this one right here. And there's at least six variants of the G10 uh, Egress. So let me know what you think about them. I'm curious and cur inquiring minds wanna know, but go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chat, or right after you hit the thumbs up button on this video. Remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.